Good afternoon. My topic for this week is why college sports. So why should we do college sports in Korea? Not, not um, everybody wants to do sports, but for many people, it's like we don't have chances to do sports, especially in college, because there the facilities are not really open to everyone, except for those uh, students who are, whose major is sports. So uh, I'm going to explain some of the advanced environment of college sports, which is the United States, and talk about the benefits of having college sports. So this is my table of contents for today. So uh, college sports is actually it's simple. It's sports played by athletes who attend higher level of education. And um, actually in the US, there are different leagues for college sports it's called divisions so it's division one two three and division one is mostly for those people who are going to be professional sports players for but for division three it's for people who enjoy sports so they have different leagues so you can participate um easily so um the in that sense there are um different forms of sports um they have uh, really diverse number of sports such as um, I don't know if you've heard of lacrosse but it's really minor sports in Korean I've never seen anyone do minor uh, lacrosse it's um it's a sport with where you um, play with like a net uh, it's a stick that has a net and you like uh, try to score a goal with those uh, net and so there are many different sports, including like soccer, football, those are the popular ones. Um, and college sports in Korea is managed mostly by Korea University Sports Federation, but it was established in 2010, so they haven't done much activities um, so far. And that comprises only 55 schools in Korea. But whereas USA, there is this um, organization called National Collegiate Athletic Association. It's, it's a very huge uh, organization, NCAA. Um, and it was found, founded in 1973. So it has long history of supporting college sports in more than a uh, thousand schools all over um, US. And the participants therefore um, is up to 420,000 people which is a lot and um, so I uh, watched this snow lecture <laughs> which um, is about the leadership and globalization of sports um, through college sport and the speaker for this lecture was Lou Perkins who was the person um, from the University of Connecticut. He's, his job is athletic director and uh, the biggest difference between Korea and the U.S.'s college sports is that in schools in U.S. they have this athletic director who manages all the sporting activities um, as well as um, teams of college sports and um, in U.S. this job is uh, pretty respected job almost as professor and their salary is around at minimum it's around fifty thousand dollars a year which is mana. and if you're like the famous really popular athletic director your salary can be as high as um one hundred thousand which is you know um so he, what he talked about was the importance of college sports because uh, it builds up um, people's uh, people's ability as like leadership uh, and also other things which I'm gonna talk about here. Um, so first of all, having a uh, play sports can take care of your mental health uh, as well as physical health. But um, if you do sports, it can actually. Um, be a refreshment from overwhelming workloads in college because especially in college you have a lot of things to do but if you have easy access to sports facilities you can just drop by and do a little exercise and that could really relieve your st stress. 
So um, for students in the U.S., uh, people who play sports aren't just uh, sports major people, but it's, it comprises of students from different majors like mathematics or um, biology. So it's really uh, open to everyone. Uh, and uh, college sports, uh, especially team sports, can uh, build up some of the special relationships with people and that really balances your life. So in a, like playing in a team sport, you can uh, be friends with your teammates and you can also um, be like a mentor relationship with your coaches who can be uh, really friendly advisors to your college life. And um, this kind of relationship is very rare in Korea because we do a lot of team projects in classroom settings, but it's not the same as um, doing team things outdoor uh, with, um, and doing like physical activities so you can have physical contact with people. Um, if you like think about your childhood when you like ran around in the playground with um, even some kids that you don't know, we can um, say that it builds up this intimacy with uh, people who you don't know. Uh, and um, another good thing about uh, college sport is that it builds up your leadership skills and um, it can teach you some kind of responsibility because um, sports is like a fixed activity uh, which has routine so um, you can participate in a regular basis and it really uh, can teach you to be responsible for your team and responsible for your uh, contribution to the team. Um, so uh, to conclude, uh, I would say healthy mind and body contributes to the beauty of college life. Um, it's not like mandatory for all people, but it really is should be a part of college life, which can be uh, accessible to anyone who wants to play sports. So uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much. Oh, it's really